Hello Nuggets, it's TT, and um, I have conditioner in my hair, so we're doing deep condition today. I usually don't do this kind of thing, but with there being so much going on, and I am very much feeling this, very, very heavy, um, just kind of guess I'm going to share what I'm feeling right now because right now in all honesty I keep hearing the song um, You Are Not Alone by Michael Jackson because right now I really am feeling like I am like you know there's and the funny thing is is you know how you know there's you got plenty of people around you but you still feel alone it's one of those kind of one of those kind of moments so um, I guess I'm also here to encourage those of you who are feeling like that um, I am a, uh, a person that uh, absolutely believes in free will but I also believe in um, being informed so that you know you can make a make the best decision possible for yourself so um, I delve into everything I get into everything I look at everything I read everything if it's something that I feel that resonates with me I accept it if it's something that I don't feel you know too um, too drawn to you know it, at least it's you know it's still information it's still something that I know and I've been doing this you know with of course you know all the you know planets and all that stuff retrograde and what have you I'm kind of trying to you know even step back from that so much because it is so much information and it's so much just coming in so it's just like okay I gotta take a pause from that cause it's just it's you know one thing leads to another leads to another it's like that whole um breadcrumb uh uh rabbit hole kind of thing and so it just kind of gets um it gets a little overwhelming so I just kind of stepping back and usually on Sundays you know I I pause I don't do um, I try not to do like readings and um, you know those kinds of things I used to I usually just uh, try to at least for the for the most part have Sundays as my my recharge day and Whereas, you know, most people are, you know, and, you know, usually I, back in the day, I would be, you know, probably sitting at church right now. And I just have not been drawn to do that in a very long time. It's more so been where I live my life in communion with with my spirit and with God and I do understand that there is the you know um, we should fellowship and things of that nature I get it but when you are truly truly you know committed to doing what it is that God wants you to do and that you feel led to do what you are emotionally, spiritually, mentally, and physically comfortable with. It doesn't always include, you know, everybody else. And it's not, um, it's not that I don't, you know, believe in fellowship it's just there are things that I don't agree with 
And if I don't agree, then I'm not going to participate. And um, because I don't like being, I don't like being a hypocrite. Um, I don't like, you know, um, I don't like going against what I feel God is saying. And in learning the things that I have learned, especially the last, hmm, I'll say at least the last eight years, having been, you know, one, raised, you know, in the church and then going from, um, Baptist and missionary Baptist and all the denominations and whatnot and then going to um, going to a Catholic school and you know Catholic church and then all of the stuff that happens in you know those places where you, you know people are denied you know their totality I just, I don't feel it. I, I don't. Um, the last couple of times that I've gone to a church, especially when it's those mega churches and those big institutions, I just, I have a thing where if I walk into a place of worship, if I don't feel overcome by the spirit just by walking into the threshold I feel there is a problem for me not for anybody else that's you know that's where they're called but for me I must be drawn to the spirit of the actual place and building that I am entering and the last couple of times I have not. So I have my, you know, I believe that we are the church. And so I have church with me and God, or I have a, a friend that I speak to, um, which I probably should go ahead and, and, and give her another call. Cause right now I'm just, there is this, whole this void that wants to be filled and I don't I don't feel like I have to hoop and holler and scream and entice God to visit me I believe that God is everywhere in everything. And at this point, I just feel like I am exhausted. I'm tired. I am emotionally tired. Um, I am so emotionally exhausted that physically I'm exhausted and for some that that may sound like you know depression or what have you and it probably is it probably is but in all honesty I had I must be I must say that I have felt this way my entire life and nobody well, birds nobody comes into this world depressed either they, they you know they shouldn't they shouldn't um but in the things that I have been learning and, and feeling and um, reflecting on and, you know, trying to look at my patterns and taking responsibility and accountability for myself, it's just been a whole lot of me placing myself in places and spaces around people who 
don't want to do that for themselves. They want you to do it for them. I have been in, uh, I used to be uh, work as a, a personal assistant and I've done that for, a, you know, done that a couple of times and doing the work is never the issue, doing what I'm asked to do, doing, you know, my job is never the issue. The issue comes when the person that I'm working for or in the, you know, what have you, doesn't necessarily have to be specifically that. When that person and I guess maybe that, that, that was supposed to be my job, but I wasn't, you know, I, I, I refuse to be another person's emotional punching bag. I refuse to do that. Um, I refuse to um, allow anybody to disrespect me. I don't give a damn how many numbers, letters, zeros they have in their account. I don't care who you are every person on this earth every person that has breath deserves respect and i would concede my self-respect in order to um, be accepted to continue to you know get whatever it is that I thought I was being given from someone else and when I stopped doing that it's like the world shut down and shut you know just kind of put me in this place and space of this ball and I just really had to just and for some, and, and I've, in, in all honesty, guys, I have been going back and forth with myself. I may not even post this. I don't know. But I've been going back and forth with myself on, you know, the whole um, good versus evil, you know, God versus the devil kind of thing, heaven and hell, you know, sinners and saints kind of thing. And it's just like. If nobody told you that you were going to hell for telling somebody to fuck off or being completely, you know, honest with, um, well, I guess, I don't know, I guess it's just me because I've always been the person to, you know, give to the point of, um, I guess disrespecting myself and again I once I started you know to respect myself more and not do that it kind of it, and, and you know put the mirror up to people and put turn the responsibility back on them and put you know hey where you know where I used to be the person to jump in and just do and and whatnot and I stopped doing that it was like I had insulted someone for telling them no I'm not going to do this um, you're going to do it it's your responsibility you're the person this is you know this is your life um, these are your choices so you deal with your choices and you know I deal with mine and it's just been so exhausting to you know put up the boundaries and tell people no when it was easy to just give in and say yes and just do and give and pour and you know take the back seat and it's just been such a, it's, it's like it's been a slap in the face to love myself enough to tell people, no, you're not going to disrespect me. No, you're not going to belittle me. Yes, I do expect for you to give me the same respect that you want me to give you or to 
um, pour into me the way that I pour into you. And in doing so, I have like, <sighs> in doing so, it has been a complete and total isolation and being some people call it weak I call it being very sensitive to um, what I see what I feel and the patterns of the history of the people that I have been around And I see those things and it's just like, I, I can't, I cannot do those things anymore. Which kind of keeps me from meeting new people because I know that if you're in that energy and you haven't healed those things um, mentally and emotionally, and spiritually if you have not healed those things you draw those people to you even more and then you you know you repeat the cycle so I'm tired of repeating cycles I am tired of doing those you know doing those things over and over again and you know getting the same results but with different faces it's the same spirit it's just a different face. It's a different body. And so I've done the the work of just, you know, just like pushing everybody away. Even the people that are, you know, my immediate nucleus, you know. And it's, it, it's nobody seeks to understand. Nobody seeks to... Um, see the other person's perspective or you know see my perspective and I'm doing I'm doing my very best not to you know be that narcissistic kind of person that everything is about me and, and it's just really hard to get that balance so if that is something that you know that's that you're trying to work through I understand I understand um, I do know and it, it's oh gosh Give me a second, because I'm trying not to cry, because I'm, I'm tired of that as well. Because <laughs> um, this is a real tender spot for me. I am very much a strong, family-oriented person. My family is... family is everything <sighs> and for people that so much of my energy into to not um, to 
reciprocate the same energy that you sow into them and have the same um, hopes and dreams and beliefs of you not I'm not asking anybody to believe in God the way that I believe in God or to um, do any of the things that I do I never would ask them that because our journey is our journey what we decide to do how we worship God individually is between I believe that's between you and God you don't have to have a co-signer um, but the simple basic respect yeah that's what we're going to do but I don't get the same thing um When I started um, doing tarot and um, started refusing to call myself a Christian, especially with the way that I see um, organized religion now being used as a way to um, control. I can't. I, I can't. But to see things, I'm very much a three strikes person. <laughs> very much. And I'm probably, you know, if I'm wrong for that, then so be it. But you have. Two suspect lefts and then you know I'm like that's 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 those aren't mistakes those are habits those are patterns um, and then you get to that third one I'm just like that third one is just in, in all honesty fuck you because that means that you absolutely do not care about the relationship uh, that we have or that we that we had so I am very much a you know live and let live I will be cordial I wish you the best I wish you well I want you to be blessed I want you to do whatever it is that you're called to do but I am no longer going to be a part of your journey and I have, with family, it's different because in order for me to, dang it, it's my weak spot. This, this, if I had a weak spot, this is it. order for me to continue to have contact with my reasons that's what I call my nieces and nephews my reasons were it not for them I, I would have been gone from here a long time ago but they keep me going I love them but in order for me that that's it's like my biggest fear is losing contact with my my babies because I know that speaking my mind saying exactly how I feel Because the thing is, is a lot of, is I don't say a lot. 
already to keep what little communication I do have. But to actually just come out and, and just completely let it fly. You know people. You know your people. <laughs> you know your people. And in doing so, I know what that means. And it sucks because it's it's to give someone else that much power. That is where I feel weak. Where I give over my power, where I cannot speak and say what I want to say. Because I know that in saying something, And then I don't want to get into the whole, well, that's being manipulative and, you know, you, because I'm, oh my God, when I, y'all can see now, I'm a crier. And Lord knows I cannot, tears don't move me, <laughs> okay? You, you can cry in front of me now. If you're hurt and I'm and you're talking to me and you know we're we're coming together and things of that nature, yes. But I'm very much a person that you know you can cry, okay. But I'm looking at your actions. If your actions have not changed, your tears mean shit. So. If you're going through something where you feel completely alone and you have no idea how to get yourself out of this, you're not alone. You're okay. Hold your peace and know that this will pass. You'll get through. Finding a new focus. Finding something that will, that you can turn your pain into purpose turn your thoughts and whatever is trying to you know keep its grip on you into a stepping stool instead of um, something that was meant to break you do that whatever it is that you need to do as long as you're not hurting anyone do what you need to do um, but don't give up do not give up do not let the patterns of triggers the um, 
the unconsciousness of those around you swallow you. Um, we are all meant to be here. We all have a purpose. Whatever that is, ask God what it is. Whatever, but whatever that is, keep fighting. Keep going. Keep going after it. In spite of what other people think or say. Um, I refuse to give up. I refuse to give in. Um, I've done that. I've given in to fit in. I'm going to do that anymore. Um, I have had so many signs and synchronicities and blessings that show me that I am on my right path for me. So I keep going. I keep going. The energy is heavy. <laughs> it's heavy. It's a lot. But I keep going. Um, I say that you know, my nieces and nephews are my, my reasons, but it was also just brought to my memory that I promised my nephew. I promised my Nana I would never give up. So I won't. I will not. But I also won't let anybody make me feel like I'm not worthy of being who I am, being a person living. I refuse and kiss my ass and God knows that I am a very joyful and vibrant and going doing and trying things kind of person. That's a lot of the reason why I do not give up on relationships very easily. I'm not talking about, you know, uh, romantic relationships because if much you disrespect me, deuces, I'm out. Gone. Do what you do over there. But when there are soul ties, with those that you have grown up with. That's the one that's a little bit more difficult for me. I always wondered how people could um, be away and be estranged from their family when they are 
still breathing on this earth. I used to wonder how there was an incident when I was in high school where there were two sisters in the same class together, two sisters that, I mean, they were going at it. They were very disrespectful to each other. And I was like, I couldn't imagine my sister doing that to me. I couldn't imagine me doing that to my sister. And I said that to them. I know you don't, you know, you don't get in stuff when it's family. Let them do what they do. But to be so just disrespectful to each other it was just it pained me. These last couple of years have been hard. Because my sister and I are like way two different ends of the spectrum. And that that whole you're not supposed to let people know that they get to you and this and that I tell people you fucking with me you fucking with me it's not good for us but she doesn't feel that way she thinks hey don't let people know they get into you. Just you know, do you and blah blah blah. But no, I'm very, I'm I'm vocal when it comes to my feelings being hurt. So, in the in on the opposite end of the spectrum as well. If you're doing something and we're together and we're doing something that you know that I enjoy and we are happy and we are, you know, in a really high vibe and high frequency with each other, I'll let you know that too. But when I don't get that same energy that I put in in return, and I know you're not supposed to expect, you know, yeah, I got it, I understand that. What I'm again, what I'm not going to do is continue to give and pour and uplift and do and it's not just my sister. My sister and I it, it's it hurts more because my sister and I had this um, very close bond. That's different. But me and my brother. Oh my God. You know how you see a person's potential? You see their light. You see what they are capable of. But you cannot make them see it in themselves. That is the kind of relationship that my brother and I had. Because he he sees things in me that, you know, 
every once in a while they leak through. But he's very much a, you know, very much that male, stubborn, Capricorn, it is what it is kind of person. And so, one of those um, coddling kind of things, and this is completely, I've had this conversation with my mother, it's completely my fault. The relationship that I have built with my siblings because I always stepped up as the mother. I always gave and did and protected, even protecting them from our mother. Don't whoop them on me. They didn't mean it. It's okay. Me stepping in the middle of or in between them, you know, learning their lesson. And so, I always took it on. And in creating the, the boundaries that I've learned to create, because not only, not only, you know, was it me injecting myself where I should not have been, they were also pushing me away so that they could do. So it's, it's, it's a very interesting time right now. So... With all of that being said, again, I don't even know if I want to post this, but do your very best to love on yourself as much as you possibly can. The love that you have for others, you are deserving of. So pour that on yourself as much as you want to pour it onto someone else who you know needs it. Give that to yourself. You are worthy of that. You're very much worthy of that. It's not, you know, it's not a bad thing to, you know, let yourself be seen. It took me a long time to understand that and get to that point that it's okay for me to, my vulnerable parts, that place and space in me who doesn't know everything to be seen, to not be strong all the time. These are the most beautiful people in the world. And so am I. Blessings and light.